All right. So with so much fluctuation going on with money, uh, I can see why investors love Terra so much. It's bringing Terra to the competition. I'm over here in Mexico and the U.S. dollar is not what it was a year ago. I'm almost spending what I was spending in the United States. But anyway, Terra is awesome and it will achieve mass adoption or be one of the cryptocurrencies to do that. All right, because it's trying to do this. All right, we're going to read the white paper. While many see the benefits of a price stable cryptocurrency that combines the best of both fiat and Bitcoin, not many have a clear plan for the adoption of such a currency. So the whole goal for cryptocurrency is not to just be over here treating it like the stock market, buying the dip, selling off when it's profitable for you, just making a couple of dollars. The goal is to have a new currency that will replace the dollar. All right. So Terra is trying to be that stable coin, the stable, the price stable coin. All right. So watch this. Uh, it says, since the value of currency as a medium of exchange is mainly driven by its network effects, a successful new digital currency needs to maximize maximize adoption in order to become useful. So you can see their plan just through that sentence right there. Watch this. We propose a cryptocurrency, Terra, which is both price stable, and that's what I was talking about, is going to lessen fluctuation. It needs more consistency, dude. Like I'm so sick of I'm so sick of things changing. Okay, it achieves price stability via an elastic money supply enabled by stable mining incentives. It also uses synergy, whatever the hell that is, created by its minting operations as transaction stimulus, therefore uh, thereby facilitating adoption. Everything is about adoption. I'm loving that word. There is a demand for a decentralized price stable money protocol in both fiat and blockchain economies. If such a protocol succeeds, then it will have a significant impact as the best use case for cryptocurrency. So it's not an if it succeeds, it will succeed. The goal, the, the, the question is, will it be uh, Terra that's doing it? And, you know, right now, just based off of how things, oh, it just went up to 100 bucks right there in our face, right? It was at 99, you know, uh, 98, 99, 100. Okay, so, um, you know, based off of how things are going, I would say it's definitely in the running. What do you guys think? Let me know a little bit more about this one. This is not one I went deep in before, pause. Uh, but I'm, I'm liking what I'm saying. What do you guys think? Are you investors of Terra?